Welcome to the 2022 Weather Guru Forecast for October 9th, 2022 on this Sunday edition for the lower 48 United States. We're also going to be covering a look at the tropics as well for the Atlantic and Caribbean and Gulf of Mexico basins here. Thank you for joining me here. Right now, you're looking at the current U.S. conditions on the model forecast runs here. And most of the country looks absolutely fabulous and clear, with the exception of the New England, upper portion of New England, with some scattered showers coming in there. High pressures dominating elsewhere in the Midwest, the Southeast, the Mid-Atlantic, and also out in the PNW, Pacific Northwest, and the Western basins for the most part. So we're going to look at the average can. Uh, National Weather Radar here, and as you can see, the according to the National Weather Service, there is uh, some showers extending along the upper peninsula. I mean, the um, the upper Hudson River Valley here of New York, extending into uh, Plattsburgh off the I eighty seven corridor, just north of the Adirondacks. Also, showers extending into uh, Burlington, Vermont. Uh, good morning to you as well, and showers extending up into Maine in the upper Canadian pr uh, province just south of Montreal there. Elsewhere, clear skies dominate down the I-95 corridor from Boston to New York, to Philadelphia, to D.C., to Richmond, Virginia, and also the Triangle region of Riley, Durham, and North Carolina. It's absolutely fabulous weather. This is fall football weather, fall leaves season weather, and we'll continue to see leaves changing over in the no upper northeast and the upper New England. It'll be peak season come around just before the week before Halloween for those in upstate New York, Vermont, New Hampshire, Massachusetts, and Connecticut. That will begin to spread down the spine of the Appalachians coming early November, and it'll be just prime viewing conditions for those of you who like to go hiking in the Smokies or the um, Appalachians or the Blue Ridge um, or Shenandoah Valleys. All of that will be absolutely beautiful come early November. Elsewhere in the central U.S., we have showers extending from Oklahoma City down to coming along I-35 Heading up through Wichita Falls and the Red River Valley, showers will continue to make their impact, but nothing severe. Some showers will continue for Lubbock, Texas, and the Panhandle of Texas. There are some showers, much needed rain for them as the drought conditions continue in the Texas region. Some showers also continue in New Mexico. That steady monsoonal flow has not tapered off yet, so we continue to get showers along I-25 from Las Cruces, New Mexico, up through just south of Albuquerque and Socorro region and the White Sands region of New Mexico. Some showers may also extend toward El Paso. Some showers may also extend toward Phoenix area later on today as the heating of the day will continue to get going. Beautiful day in L.A. and San Diego in the lower basin there. Temperatures remain in the 80 degrees uh, cooler today and then we'll rise up to 80 degrees Fahrenheit as we get into the weekend, as we get later on in the week, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Beautiful day in the Bay Area, San Francisco, Seattle, everything looking fabulous. Temperatures ranging from right now in the upper 50s for lows in the New England area and the Mid-Atlantic to the Mid-Atlantic area and uh, lows also ranging in the 50s and 40s out in the Pacific Northwest and Seattle, Portland and Salem, Oregon. Temperatures in the 60s currently right now Fahrenheit for San Diego and the LA Basin. 60s in Texas, 67 in Dallas-Fort Worth area, 60 in Atlanta, 81 degrees in Miami though. Absolutely, absolutely fabulous conditions today for high temperatures. High temperatures will top out 83 in LA, 91 degrees Fahrenheit in Vegas. Very hot day, but manageable. 66 in Norfolk, 64 in D.C., 62 in New York City, and 63 degrees Fahrenheit in Boston. So all in all, a pretty quiet start to the fall. A very uh, comprehensible pattern that we enjoy this time of year um, after what we've had uh, recently with the coastal low last weekend, as you know. Now, as far as Julia, let's turn our attention to the tropics. We have Julia has made landfall this morning. Sunday morning at 3 a.m. Eastern Time, it made landfall on the eastern coast of Nicaragua. It is currently working its way inland, and it's about to emerge sometime tonight or tomorrow morning into the Pacific Ocean. Uh, it will keep the name Julia as it goes into the eastern Pacific Ocean. The current sustained winds are at 70 miles an hour. It's a tropical storm now. It made landfall as a hurricane, an 85 mile an hour hurricane. Winds are down to 70 and it will continue to decrease as a tropical storm. Mineral central pressure is up to 993 millibars and is moving at the west at 15 miles an hour. A very fast movement there. So Julia will continue to cause life threatening flash floods and mudslides across Central America and Southern Mexico. As you know, it's very mountainous terrain um, in that area. So to move across uh, spreading rain across Honduras, El Salvador, and Guatemala, 
just kind of hugging the coastline as the depression uh, as it weakens to a depression later on on monday so we'll continue to keep you posted on that but if you have friends and family down there just know that it's going to be a rainy time through monday and um to stay out of any water rising water on the creeks and rivers and streams as it runs down the mountains into the valleys there and some of those central valleys in honduras and el salvador and nicaragua and guatemala um, and so that's what we have going on elsewhere in the tropics. It is quiet and the Eastern Pacific is quiet and the Atlantic is quiet and we're getting ready to coming up on the final almost the final month of hurricane season in November the 30th hurricane season ends. So we're coming up on the, the final stretch the final push of names the next name on the list will be Karen. Karen will be the next name on the list if we do indeed get another tropical storm out this system. So I just want to give you the national update here for us and as well as the national picture. Please be sure to subscribe to the Weather Guru for the latest news, weather news for the lower 48 and sometimes beyond that and tropical news as well. Thank you for your support. I'll see you in the next video.